Yo guys, Dim here. So I've been having this issue since I got my Flipsky VSC7200 installed. This is the custom 3D printed box I made for it. As you can see, the fins are still there on the bottom. You got all these cable glands for waterproofing. Um, but anyway, uh, what's happening now is that when I accelerate, it's just like slow, like super slow acceleration. Like, um, just like takes forever to pick up speed I mean now it's booting up I'm guessing but you see that I'm hitting full throttle and I mean I'm taking off like a 50 cc scooter this is a 3000 watt hub motor so it's 100% capable of more acceleration and when I was using a different controller it did have way more acceleration so it's got to be something with the FOC settings so I found this thread uh, motor crunch troubleshooting uh, let me go ahead and charge my phone while I look at this and I'm gonna start my screen record your motor feels like it's losing torque around three to four miles per hour blah blah, blah right possible solutions make sure you got good motor detection values from the wizard so here I'm connecting to my vest controller and you just want to run setup motor make sure that if you're using a direct drive hub motor with no gears in it that you select direct drive there's an option there for gears you don't want to have gears selected if you do the rest of the motor setup correctly with the wheel off the ground, everything should be fine. Make sure you cut your observer gain, FOC general, in half. So let's go to that setting. Let's go to motor config, FOC general, and he said gain, we're cutting it in half. So right now our observer gain is 2.17, so let's just make it 1.05, that's about half. Not a hundred. Uh, I guess we'll just make it one. Let's go ahead and write that setting. Okay, so it's written, and let's see how the motor feels now. All right, so now let's see if that feels different. No, I feel like I still really don't have a lot of acceleration. I mean, the, the duty cycle is only 9%. 10, 11. Supposedly it's drawing 60 amps. Now there's definitely more speed in the tank. So the next step on that forum post, and I'm going to link it below, make sure your sensorless ERPM is 2000. Let's go to FOC, sensorless. So right now it's 2500 hull sensors. Okay, so let's go to FOC, hull sensors. And then sensorless ERPM is at 2000. Okay, so we're good on that front. FOC advanced, zero, effect, zero vector frequency. This defaults to 20 kilohertz, but many of us get better behavior with higher values. 24 kilohertz works great for me. So let's see, FOC, advanced, zero vector frequency. I mean, mine's already at 30 kilohertz. That's my default. Sensorless interpolation, FOC advanced, FOC hull sensors. Censored, let's try 250 instead of 500. No, still slow. So I'm thinking that field weakening is probably what we want. Field weakening, max current, 30 amps. Let's try that. Let's try field weakening, duty start, 65%. I don't know. It doesn't really feel different. Motor, general, advanced. Let's try max duty cycle, 96. I think our current is being limited to 60 amps so let's go to multi settings limits and motor current max maximum motor current can we just increase this make it like a hundred Absolute maximum current, it's at 89.2. Okay. See if that changes anything. Uh-huh. We got an overcurrent. Ah, because we went over the absolute limit. I know that this controller can handle 72 volts, 150 amps. 
So let's set this to 150 amps. Oh, there we go. That was the setting that... Oh, man. Now we're getting actual acceleration. Ooh, that's a fucking fast bike now. All right, let's see if we could go a little bit higher. <laughs> so that was the setting that was limiting us. Let's go ahead and just set motor current max to 140 or 130. But All right, let's see. Wow. That acceleration is scary, man. Let me go for a little test ride. <laughs> this thing's for sure gonna go fast now. Holy fuck! Wow! Oh, my, my spokes are experiencing torque they've never experienced. I can hear them popping and crackling. Oh, we went over current limit. Jesus. I'm definitely gonna need some stator aid. All right, let's set maximum to 200. Let's set this to 140. Definitely hit a current limit. Oh, I didn't see which one though. Oh, I think I hit a BMS limit. No way. Let me go ahead and change my BMS's limit because my battery can definitely handle 150 amps. I have no doubt. Let's see. Discharge over current. Let's set this to 130. Let's figure out what the new top speed is now. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. This thing gets up. Holy shit. Let's see the temperature of the uh of the battery. The 15C, it's ice cold. That's good. Temperature of the motor using my hand. Not bad. Pretty cool. And let's check what the temperature of the controller is here. 30c so it got a little warm so that was that i mean i guess if you're um trying to figure out why you have no torque it's because your current might be limited i thought it was going to be complicated and i was going into all those settings but it was quite literally just my my battery current limit that was stopping me and now i mean <laughs> god i wish i could wheelie this thing <laughs> It's too heavy to wheelie the battery the battery is in the center here and this is a super long wheelbase there's no shot you could wheelie this thing yeah freaking awesome <laughs> amazing dude wow so that thing it will literally pull 140 amps that's crazy just pulling me 140 amps on demand Jesus <laughs> my battery's at 73 eh, 21 miles range that's actually not bad for how I was riding just now so I would call that a great success maybe I should go back and change some of my other settings
they weren't the problem. The, the problem was the max current for the motor and the max absolute current that had to be increased. I mean, that went very well. And this is now an epic controller. I can't wait to get the other light. I have it, but the bracket for it broke, so I'm, I have to repair it. It's my first time ever hitting the BMS 100 amp limit. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It's amazing what a new controller can do. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to link down below to those threads that I followed um, so that you can also follow those steps if maybe this wasn't the problem for you. And if I, I hope I helped out. This was just my experience, my issue. I hope it helped somebody out. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. For more Vesk tool and other sorts of e-bike content, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.